Pocky Town, Detroit, Michigan is where we're looking at $55,000 home renovations. Kim Lipinski and her dad Ken spent nights, weekends, and a whole lot of sweat equity updating Kim's fixer upper. I live in Royal Oak, which is about 20 minutes north of Detroit. I'm walking distance to downtown, and there's a park right at the end of the street. Everybody's really friendly and says hello, so it's a great place to live. It's a nice little community for her. My home is a 1926 uh, house. It's between a bungalow and a Cape Cod. Before, this home basically had been gutted. The walls were kind of left unfinished. There were no doors, but the way that I saw it, it was a blank slate. Now I have something that is not just a house, but it's a home. I like the old home character, but I really like modern finishes and uh, modern amenities. It's a place where I walk into it every day and think, I can't believe I live here. I'm very happy with it, the way it turned out. In the living room, the biggest thing that we had to do was the floor. Uh, it wasn't in good shape, and I knew that that was going to be a big focal point when you walked in the house. So what I had them do was match the existing dining room flooring, which was in pretty good shape to the living room flooring. One of the other things that we did um, in the dining room was we installed um, all of these nice glass cabinets and they really give me a lot of additional storage space. I really wanted to emphasize the horizontal in the kitchen space to make it look a little bit larger. So I went with a larger tile on the backsplash. And you notice there's no outlets along the backsplash because Kimley doesn't want to have anything interfere with it so she made me move them all into the cabinets which was another big job. As far as the cabinets I went with uh, dark espresso wood and used the stainless steel poles to kind of tie everything together. In the bathroom the tub was here and that was about it and I needed to figure out materials and I thought you know what I'm gonna take the risk I'm gonna use the metal face tile and I'm so glad that I did because I love the way that it turned out. It's Kimberly's taste not mine so I, I mean I went along with what, what she decided. Monica, this neighborhood has craftsmen, arts and crafts, and bungalows. Young people are coming here to renovate. Yeah, well, I hope they're coming here to do yard work because this place needs some serious curb appeal. Yeah. <laughs> cute. Very cute. Very, very cute. Very pulled together. And I love these oak wood floors. Okay, but what did we just walk through to get in here? <laughs> <laughs> From a major home renovation, this is a totally missed opportunity. Well, you can't call it a major home renovation if the first part of your home is completely unfinished. Okay, time out. We have big plans. We just haven't done it yet. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to pretend we didn't see that. Okay. They've definitely kept an open feeling between the living room and the dining room. What do you think about this though, Monica? Buyers are looking for arts and crafts type period updates. And this is really, really contemporary. No way. All, yeah, Royal Kimberly. Oak is lofts and everyone loves the contemporary and the modern. I don't think it was a mistake. You can't have it all for $55,000. So in this case, you know, they've definitely saved some money. This is, you know, flat pack cabinetry. You know, we can buy it at the store, take it home. It looks stylish. And, it, and it, it can be taken out if the home buyer didn't like it. Again, not what I expected, but beautiful. Got the beautiful ceramic floor, okay? Mm -hmm. Wonderful, earthy, neutral tones. Love the quartz. So I beautiful. don't know. Buyers want granite, Monica. Granite, no. Not yeah. granite has way too much pattern for that small of a kitchen. Quartz is a fantastic surface. It's time to teach our buyers not to be afraid of quartz. It's not cheap. It's still expensive. It is durable. This is gorgeous. But the industry standard is granite. And this is a ginormous refrigerator. I could fit in this refrigerator, Monica. Look. <laughs> I told you. <ya. laughs> Buyers want to be able to move around in the kitchen. It's just too big. It's blocking that doorway. It is really big. I like my fridge. I like the professional series. I like the look of it. A plus to spending money <laughs> in the main bathroom. What do you think about the shower area? I love this tile. This bathroom is very contemporary in a very vintage home. It's not traditional, it's not normal, it's not cookie cutter. It's something <laughs> outside of the box because right. I'm so sick of seeing the same stuff over and over again. This is different. Maybe if only, you know, inside the shower area they kept the metallic tile and, you know, maybe had not used it on the walls as well. I think it would, it would feel less um, in your face. <laughs> no way! It looks perfect. 
<laughs> and some of the money that she could have saved would have been better spent on curb appeal and that empty porch. It's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. <laughs> Come on. Give us a break. We had a whole house to finish. Coming up. It is flatter than a watery pancake. These three major home renovations finished up within $2,000 of each other. Which one do you think got the biggest bang for your buck? They really knocked the ball out the park. Yeah.